Hello everyone, this is Mist Review with a guitar unboxing and first look, first look for me anyway. This, as the title says, is a Yamaha FGX5. Oh, quick show of where I bought it from. I got it from Music Bliss in Malaysia. Very helpful guy called Shun uh, assisted me with the purchase. I'll mention him again a bit later on. I went to Malaysia, I live in the UK, but I went to Malaysia because these are not available in the UK as are none of the FG. Uh, red label series or even the fs ones but i particularly wanted the fg i had an fg3 on order with uh, with anderson's actually for uh, about two and a half three months um and you know no bad words to to say about anderton's but their supplier just kept on changing the dates i say their supplier probably yamaha themselves um they're just not available in the uk or anywhere in fact um so I looked at the US and they didn't have anything either and thought I'd look in the Far East. I've bought stuff from the Far East before and had really good service. Different products, but I've bought stuff from Malaysia and Hong Kong in the past and you get stuff really quick. Just going through a couple of things that um, I had within the package. There was a clip-on tuner that you saw, some Diodario strings, which I had instead of the stand. Um, there was a capo, which, you know, cheap enough, cheapish capo, but it worked really well. I tried it last night. Excellent and um, a string winder and polish and cloth and stuff. I think there was a little cheap strap as well, which I won't use. So these, the FG, the Red Label series, for some reason are really, really low on stock everywhere. I've just seen a video about half an hour ago uh, from the Singapore guy, Singapore Spa, Guitar Spa, and he was saying that the Red Label are really, really difficult to get hold of. Um, not just in Singapore where he is, but pretty much around the world as well. That's just some more stuff in the case. I'll go through, a, I'll do a full review of the guitar, what it is, what it sounds like. I'm not the greatest player in the world. <laughs> in fact, he's probably one of the worst players in the world who's bought one of these. Um, but I wanted one of these particular guitars. So they're normally about 13 or 1400 pounds in the UK. Um, when I looked in Malaysia, this. Uh, the, the reason why I went for this one and not the FG3, this ended up being about £930 for the guitar with those other bits and pieces as well. They, they throw those in. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll have that, thanks very much. And then I found out how much it was going to cost to send it. Now, whether it's because of the virus is going on and it's you know reduced courier um, services or well i don't know why it was so expensive but it was 370 pounds for the courier and you might think i'm a bit crazy to pay that but add that to the price of the guitar and it makes it 1300 quid which is pretty much what they cost in the uk i think yamaha london have got them about 1400 so somewhere between 13 and 1400 pound so that was not fine but i thought well okay um if I'd have bought the FG3, I'd have probably wished that I've had the FG5 or even the FGX5. I may well never use the electronics in this, but they are supposed to be very good. Um, the problem was eBay then stiffed me with, with another £70 fees because I was buying something from Malaysia and they had to convert the money from Malaysian ringgit to, <laughs> to UK GBP, which is a bit ripe considering they're the worldwide company so in the end it cost me 1370 pounds i was fully expecting to pay some customs or import costs luckily i haven't had to pay those i don't know why um, whether that cost was factored into the tnt courier i do not know but i did think 370 quid was pretty expensive so maybe maybe they were but so yeah 1370 pounds really um, but the guitar itself was was 9.30. Really pleased overall with it. Um, I had some excellent service, as I said earlier on, from Music Bliss, and the chap I dealt with was Shun. Um, we did some WhatsApps backwards and forwards. Um, he very kindly sent me a couple of videos showing me the guitar I was going to have, and uh, I got one of his colleagues just to strum a few things um, on there, because obviously it's a bit difficult when you're spending this kind of money to buy something online without seeing it or hearing it so it's very kind of them to do that i'm not endorsed by them um there's no affiliate links on my videos and never has been and never will be but if you have to and I, I know they did have when i was looking they also had the fg3 fgx3 and the fg5 so the lower the the the, the smaller the, not the smaller the slightly less expensive model and the 
non-electronic version of this. So that's just a quick unboxing, quick first look, guys and girls. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you in the review in a couple of weeks. Take care.